Yes, God, honey, it's Miss Laganja Astranja, and today we will be recreating my iconic butterfly look from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 6. So buckle up, honey, because I'll be going from this to this peach ice cream cone extravaganza. And we're going to start by taking off any dirt or excess glue from the night before on your eyebrows. And then, baby, we're just going to go to town on these brows. We're going to get this glue all up in the gig. So I always give a base coat first. I just get them nice and sloppy and moist and just all the glue up in it. And then I take it and direct everything going up. And then you're going to take through your little comb. You're going to comb through to make sure all the hairs go in the right spot. And then take the back side of that comb and press it out making sure that all the hair goes flat to that forehead. Okay, well I'm missing my fan, so we're gonna use a makeup palette. You could also use a hair dryer to speed this process up. Good, so once your eyebrows are nice and laid down, you're gonna apply a little coat of powder. So I prefer a really thick powder, you know one of them old school kinds that your grandma used to use, girl. And then I'm gonna use a little silicone primer to you know, fill in any of those slight imperfections that I might have also to give the skin a nice even layer. Perfect, so once your skin is prepped and your brows are down, it's time to start applying some foundation. So now I like to use a really thick foundation girl and cake it up on there. You know, I'm from Texas, so we believe in wearing a lot of makeup, a lot of hair, a lot of gigs. We're not afraid to just cake that on, baby. And some people use a brush to put on their foundation, but I like to use a sponge in my hands because I like to get right up on that canvas and just let it know who's boss. Now, a lot of queens like to stop about right around here with their neck, but you see, I'm a fierce queen, so I like to go all the way down, baby. It's also because usually I'm naked on stage and most of my outfits don't start until about my tatouage. So I have to make sure that all the way down here, yeah, that's right, all the way, gets blended in. Right now I'm using my darker foundation and I'm going and putting it in the areas where we're going to end up contouring. So I'm creating a little natural highlight and low light in my cream foundation. And then I'll do that all again with powder once the cream is on. Vivian Panay actually taught me this trick right before I went on the show. Um, before I was on RuPaul's Drag Race, I'd really only been doing drag for about a year. So my makeup skills were young. Uh, and um, I didn't really know a lot about, you know, the proper techniques or anything like that. It was mostly stuff I'd picked up off YouTube or watching Alyssa's crazy ass get ready. So once my base color is on, then I'm going to go back with my highlight, which is a slightly lighter color, and I'm going to fill in those other areas. So you want to use your highlight in the T-zone, so right in here and in here. So my highlight's going to go from my chin up to the middle of my nose, up to my forehead, and right underneath both eye sockets. So now that my highlight and my low light is on, I'm going to go back with the contour. Now as you can tell, I'm very light-skinned, I'm Casper Realness. So this contour is going to appear very heavy on my face, but don't worry, we're gonna go back and blend it in. So now obviously, since being on the show, my makeup style has changed quite a lot. As I said before, I was a very young queen when I first came onto the show. So getting all the experience I have since the show, I've been able to work with so many girls and learn so many more different techniques. Uh, you know, this look in particular, when I look at the old photos, you know, I can tell that my blending in the eyes was not very good. And as we all know, my eyebrows were questionable before I was very uh, nervous and scared to like put on any kind of makeup or cosmetics. And now, you know, I'm much more adventurous and willing to try different colors and different things and, you know, just experiment more. With before, it was just much more about just trying to get a look out so that I could past the show. But I do remember specifically with this look that um, Matthew Anderson really liked it. And I remember seeing him when we got off stage and he was like, oh girl, you look so beat. And I remember saying, I do really? Like, I don't know what I'm doing. And he got closer to look at the makeup and he was like, 
oh yeah, girl, you don't know what you're doing, but it looked great from stage. So after we lay this contour down, we're gonna go, wanna go back with a beauty blender and we're gonna wanna blend out some of these harsh lines. Unless, of course, you know you're Trixie Mattel and you wanna give this harsh line look, and in which case, you wouldn't blend it out, you'd probably add even more so that it would be more definite and more defined. But for me, I like to pretend that I'm fish, so I wanna go up in here and kind of soften these lines out a little bit. So now once I've done my beauty blender, I'm also gonna take my blending brush just to go in and make sure that everything is nice and blended. Boom, and there you have it. That is the basic beginning to any face that I really do. So now I'm gonna go in and add these brows, baby. Now, when I did this originally though, I started right by my nose. So my brows were not only huge, but they were so close together. So today we're gonna start a little further apart, and instead of giving such a rounded look, we're gonna stick with a more classic brow. As you can see, I've left all of my foundation wet. So this is a little trick that I learned from my friend Ellis in the UK, uh, which is to keep your foundation wet so that when you're drawing on your brows, if you make a mistake, it's a lot easier to go back and cover it up. So I'm going to use an angle brush as well as some other just straight edge brushes uh, to help me get this shape that I want. So I'm gonna start where my natural brow starts, which is uh, right about here. And you can do this by doing three points. So the first point would be lined up with your nose. The second point would be from your nose to the middle of your eye to the corner. And then the third point would be from your nose to the edge of your eye. So that way you have three little dots and you can, tr you can kind of trace to see where that eyebrow needs to go. So once you've got your eyebrow on, you're gonna go underneath with your highlighter and clean up that bottom shape. Then I'm gonna use my smaller beauty blender and blend that out. And then last but not least, just go back in with that pencil or brush and touch up where you just cleaned up. Then I'm gonna take a little white powder and set that highlight. Then I'll use a cream powder to blend that out. I'm gonna go in and give the beginning of my brows a little definition by adding some individual hairs. So I'm using a very fine angle brush with a darker brown than what's currently on my brow. And I'm just gonna draw in some little hairs. So a trick to get your eyebrows symmetrical is if you look down, it's the same thing with your lips. You can get a better idea of how the lines are lining up. So when looking down, you can see the Cupid's bow a lot easier. And same thing with your eyebrows. You can see where that top line, whereas if you're looking directly up, it's harder to try to find that exact line. So once you've put your brows on, it's time to set the face. So that way you won't lose these new brows you just drew on. And then I'm just gonna continue to go ahead and set the rest of my foundation. So then once my whole face is set with powder, I'm just gonna brush off any excess. And then I'm gonna go back in with my contour, but this time with a powder and go over everything that I put down with the cream. So I'm gonna start with my darkest color contour. And lightly brush it on from the bottom of my cheek moving upward. So this is kind of a soft brown that I'm using. So we just want a nice soft little light dusting to give us that smaller shaped forehead. Going under here on the jawline, making that nice and small and feminine. So then once my light brown is on, I'm gonna go back in with an even lighter brown, but this time I'm gonna mix in some of a blush color. So now I've got sort of a, a bronzer and a blush together. <laughs> and I'm gonna go in and meet it where, so there's the bottom of the line. Now I'm gonna go to that middle of the line to give that second color so that we have a gradient. 
So once my contour is done with powder, then I'm gonna go in with my highlight and kind of tone this down a little bit, because right now I'm looking a little Tony the Tiger striperella. And I wanna make it more soft fisherella. So I'm actually going to take my blender brush now and blend that highlight into the contour that I just did. So now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna get up in these eye socket gigs. So when you use your wet foundation, sometimes it will create creases in the eye. So if you just take a little eye primer and put that over, that will fix that problem. Okay, so now it's time for the fun part. Let's apply some shadow. So I'm going to do three things. I'm going to start from the outer corner of my eye and come in towards the eye socket following my natural line. And I'm gonna do this with three colors. First, we're gonna do our lightest color, then we're gonna do a little darker color on the outer side, and then we'll do our darkest at the very tip of the eye so that it goes from light to dark. So this is my lightest shade. And I'm just following that natural socket. So now with this look, I'm actually taking my contour all the way to the inner corner of the eye. So it's a little bit different than my normal cut crease, which is where I would have left space in here for the white to show. But with this one, we're really wanting to sink in that eye to create that bigger shape. So we're gonna go right up into that socket. Then I'm gonna take a nice round brush and I'm just gonna blend out what we just did. So since today is a fun peach look, I'm gonna do a nice pop of color on the eye. Uh, before, again, on season six, you know, I kept it very simple. It was browns, but I think today we can have a little bit more fun with it. So I'm gonna use this gorgeous color peach and start with that on the outside of the eye. And again, taking my round brush and blending this now. I'm actually gonna allow the pink to come a little bit onto the eyelid. So I'm just taking a highlight and I'm coming back in and popping this on the eye. Kind of going over a little bit where I let that pink blend on the outer corners of the eye. And now I'm gonna take my darkest color and I'm gonna start at the bottom of the eye. Kind of giving me that bottom lash line and take it up. So then once I've got kind of my basic shape and idea on, I'm gonna go back in and add more color, more texture, and more contrast. So now I'm just gonna clean my highlight up a little bit. Go back over everything once again and blend the new shadow back into this highlight. So once I've got my basic eyeshadow on, then I'm gonna go back in and add a little highlight to the eye with a little shimmer to kind of make it pop on these insides. Okay, now it's time for some eyeliner. So now the trick they say is to start from the back of your eye and draw forward to get the cleanest swoop. Now I sometimes like to mix it up depending on how watery my eyes are, but today I'm doing really well. So I am gonna start from the back and trace forward. Now just on the bottom. Now I like to go in while it's wet and blend the bottom lash line out. Now rinse and repeat. So once I've drawn my eyeliner on, I'm gonna go back into the corners of my eyes and add a little bit of that cream highlight that I use to highlight the brows just on the inner corners. And I lied, I'm actually gonna trace the whole eye cause I thought it looked fierce while I was doing it. And just because I'm feeling extra gay today, I'm gonna add a little bit of Glitchra to the corner of the eye as well. Now, I'm also gonna use this cream highlighter. I just love it if you can't tell. And I'm gonna put one dot right there on the center of my eye where the white is. And this is just real ghetto. I'm gonna take my finger, dip it right up into my glitter, and then I'm gonna massage that spot out with the glitter. So now we're just gonna put a little mascara on. Then of course we have to curl the lash. So now I find the hardest part with lashes is actually giving the glue time to dry. 
I don't know about you, but I'm always in a hurry and the lashes are the last thing I do. So I always want to rush this process. But I have learned time and time again that it's better if you just wait. Then once your lash is nice and sticky and tacky, go in for the kill. So now you always want the outside of your lash to be going up. So one little trick that I like to do is take a little bit of that eyelash glue and apply it directly to your bottom lash that's underneath the false lash. And quite literally, glue your lash to this new lash up. Then I like to go back with a little bit of eyeliner or mascara and darken in where I've glued. Okay, so now that our eyes are popping, baby, it's time to add our blush and our lipstick. So now I'm actually going to use the same color that I used on my eyelid here onto my cheeks. So this peach really warms up that brown that we had laid down for our contour and it gives it a more natural look because nobody's got brown cheeks. Then I'm going to use my peach goddess highlight and I'm gonna bring that in and around the eyebrow and that bone right here on my cheek. And then I'm gonna take just a nice soft pink and kind of blend that all together. And then just like we did before, taking that cream highlight and toning down what we just did. Cause I don't wanna look like Chucky. Okay, 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 I'm liking where this is going. Let's add this lip and see if that sets it off. So I'm gonna use a liquid to matte lipstick. And my favorite part about these lipsticks is you don't really need a liner. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of a lighter color in the center of the lip and kind of ombre it out. Okay, so once the lips is on, the last and final touch is just a little bit more glitter because baby, you're not doing drag unless you got some glitter up on your face. So I'm gonna add a little bit to my lip and I'm gonna add a little bit underneath the eyes on the corners. So now that I've got my makeup all set and done, I think the last and final step is to get up in this gig, girl. And voila, honey, there you have it. Madam Butterfly, eat your heart out, mama. So now I don't know about y'all, but I think this look is still sickening all these years later. In fact, it's one of my favorite looks that I've ever owned because this dress was actually Mama Alyssa Edwards. It's carrying the legacy of the House of Edwards on, so that's why this dress and look is so special to me. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.